This is a Safari Land uh, drop leg holster for a Glock 35 with a Surefire light on it. This one was originally looks like foliage green, kind of that like grayish green color there. Uh, it's been looks like it's been tri lined a little bit here. And uh, Krylon's kind of holding up pretty well, it looks like. Little scratches around the hood and around the edges where it might get banged up on stuff here. This one's been kind of modified a little bit. Uh, normally this kind of belt hanger here that the belt goes through extends up a little bit higher. And it has a, a second leg strap here to make it a little more stable. But a lot of guys are finding that if they run too low, they kind of get in the way. If you're in a vehicle, they bang into the seat. They're kind of hard to, hard to get to. So if you take this top strap off, shorten this, it'll stick out the bottom. You just cut the bottom off and kind of melt it with a lighter so it doesn't fray. You can move this holster up higher and uh, make it a little bit easier to get to, easier to get to with your support hand if something happens and you're injured instead of having it way down low on your leg. Uh, a lot of people will go in here and kind of modify these and cut this whole section out here. Makes it a little more comfortable, a little lighter weight. Looks like this one hasn't been done yet though. Maybe so it can be put back in the original configuration. Looks like it's got some coyote duct tape wrapped around the strap to get it together. They normally come with some little Velcro keepers that wrap around here and Velcro to themselves. They're not really the most sturdy and they kind of come loose every once in a while so duct tape's probably a better option for that. And this one has the rotating hood assembly here to activate it you have to push down on here so if you're right-handed you'd come in here with your thumb as you were grabbing your pistol push down and push forward on that and this has the secondary hood over the top to prevent somebody from trying to get at your gun and pushing that down it just kind of keeps their hands out of the way there and allows you to come in here from behind and access it draw the pistol out for one of these drop rigs brand new you're probably looking at about maybe $120, somewhere in that range. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.